Yeah, good evening students. माई सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सुभाष आज हम आपको एक लेक्चर क्लास कंफ्लिक्ट थ्योरी गिवन बाई लेविस कोजर वन ऑफ द फाउंडिंग फादर ऑफ सोशोलॉजी उसके ऊपर आज हम चर्चा करने वाले हैं लेक्चर फोर्टी मिनट्स का होगा एंड होपफुली इट विल बी यूजफुल फॉर बी ए स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एज students preparing for net jrf it is also beneficial for those students so let's start get into the videos uh starting with introduction of lewis coger lewis coger one of the founding father of sociology who born in 1913 in berlin germany he was a major functionalist and founding father of sociology he contributed a lot for the sociology uh such as function of social conflict 1956 he gave this um important book to the world and sociological theory and political sociology so these are some major contribution given by a uh, lewis coger as i have already explained lewis coger was a uh, functionalist and he uh, reintroduced this class conflict which was initially given by karl marx karl marx is uh, was a major conflict he given class conflict theory and he explained the theory of class conflict on the basis of a uh, conflict between two classes which he i told that always in every society in every uh, this one era always there were two classes one who uh, he he named that uh, bourgeoisie and second one is proletariat bourgeoisie <coughs> were rich people they already they always exploited these poor people and and made so many atrocities and lastly a conflict erupted between these two classes in every society uh, he divided society on the basis of uh, these classes he, in his book uh, communist manifesto he told that society history is divided in uh, history can be explained on the basis of class conflict only and uh, uh, he nicely explained this in his book that is communist manifest now let's <coughs> is to the uh, this one mr kozer kozer was influenced by karl marx george simmel ralph dietro vendrop these were his uh, uh, you can say uh, his guru and he was uh, influenced by these sociologist uh, according to kozer causes of conflict in the society are emotions of people and this regard he agrees with the sim simmel um he initially gave this theory and uh, uh he told that the the conflict are nothing but emotions of the people uh emotions uh, the george simmel explained that uh, emotions of enmities and due to these emotions uh, people fight with each other such as husband wife father son brother sisters but it doesn't mean that they are enemy with each other in very next moment they live in harmony and peace so therefore both type of traits are found in the society that is associative and disassociative means friendly and enmities but ultimately a uh, society exists and society prolongs because the associative traits uh, they dominates they prevails so therefore kaz consider conflict as a functional 
because after every conflict accommodation takes place within the group and those people of the group are punished who do not conform to the group norms there's bonding within the group become more stronger uh, after every conflict so in this regard uh, he um, considers conflict as a prv of the society prv mean pressure releasing war uh, when pressure of conflict increases in the society um, that uh, pressure of uh, this one enmities and uh, disharmony among the people increases people conflict and they uh, come in friendly relationship with each other in this way a little conflict uh, contributes functions it has a uh, he considers that conflict has certain function to perform in the society and it relaxes the tensions and disharmonies and in uh, in this way help the people to live in harmony in the society and society prevails and the society functions <clears throat> according to koja both types of traits such as associative and disassociative uh, are available in the society and on the basis of both uh, traits he classifies society into two types one is realistic conflict another one is uh, non realistic conflict realistic conflict hindi mein jisko usne vastavik sangharsh ki sangya di hai jo vastavik sangharsh hai wo logical conflict uh, ko usne vastavik jo hai sangharsh bataya hai usne kaha hai ki kuch ek conflicts hai jo log logics pe adharit hote hain और बिकॉज ऑफ दोज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट पीपल दे कम इन टू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिकॉज देर आर सर्टेन लॉजिक्स एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज लॉजिक्स पीपल दे कम्स इन डिस हारमोनी एंड दे फुलफिल देयर विशीज एंड वेन देयर विशीज आर नॉट फुलफिल्ड एंड दे इन दिस वे दे discard these conflicts after whenever they fulfill this wishes uh, they discard this conflict but whenever their wishes are not fulfilled they uh, carry on and remain in conflict forever or in this way uh, these peoples uh, they live in harmony after this conflict so in this way this is a functional Uh, uh, he has explained this conflict as a function for the society such as for example uh, uh, sports some institutes hikes it peace and, and some other uh, this one they um, when when these students they come they, they, they come in confrontation with the administration for increasing these hikes uh, for uh, this one fees and all they um, uh, they sit they talks and when these uh, wishes of these students means that fees which is high which is increased which is settled among them they discard this conflict but as long as these fees uh, of the of these students are not adjusted are not uh, reduced they remain in conflict so there is a logic behind this conflict that is fees high uh, second one is non realistic conflict non realistic conflict is a conflict which is based on the emotions such as anger hate uh, in this conflict uh, logic does not play any role people uh, they come in conflict with each other because of these prevailing emotions and due to these emotions they conflict with each other uh, they don't conflict to fulfill their wishes but because of these emotions therefore these conflicts are non realistic conflicts and uh, so these are the two types of conflict which has he has explained on the basis of logics and emotions next classification 
of the closure is in more type that is external conflict and internal conflict external conflict uh, are the conflict between uh, those groups one is uh, um, between two groups let it be two country let it be two castes two religions so between these two groups these con conflict exist and uh, <coughs> that conflicting groups within that groups harmony increases and they their uh, this one uh, bonding becomes stronger within the within the group but um, among the conflicting groups uh, the people uh, they remains in harmony until unless uh, some mediators uh, come and uh, settle their disputes next one is internal conflict internal conflict is a conflict which occurs within the groups when any persons of a group of a caste of a religion if he violates the norms or rules of that uh, caste and come in confrontation with the caste people so his own caste his own religion his own group they try to correct uh, that particular person by imposing some sanctions some punishments and uh, pressurize that person to conform to the norms of that particular group so after uh, whenever these uh, conflicting person uh, they obey the norms they conform to the group norms they the conflict ends so in this way uh, he has explained this another two types of conflict so this is the uh, major portion or major uh, parts of these uh, uh, theory that is uh, class conflict theory given by levis kozer so i hope uh, you people have liked this video um, i will try to make some more video and uh, uh, thanks for listening please share your feedback and also like and subscribe my video if you like it Thanks.